Hi everybody. Today we're going to be looking at the Web Aim Contrast Checker because this is one of the quickest ways to check colors of text against backgrounds. So let's get after this. This is really fantastic. So um, basically what you do is you come down to the foreground color and the, the background color section and you input a hexadecimal code for those colors. And then you can scroll down and see what text passes for contrast and what pa what text doesn't. So I'm going to head over here. This is color.adobe.com and I picked out a color scheme and you can probably see already that these colors are pretty close. I want you want I wanted you to see what happens when colors are too cl close together. So I'm just going to hover over this first one, this dark teal, and copy that color. Then let's come up here and insert it as the foreground color. That means the text, okay? I'm going to go back and get the next one in this series, and we're going to make that the background color. Now, look at this. The text is there, but you really can't see it. See it. So it's fails the contrast checker test. Let's go back and try a different one. So this is a relatively dark one. Let's go and skip over for the other, for this one, the lighter color. Does this pass? It does not. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's skip over to there. Does that pass? No, <laughs> it still doesn't pass because there's not enough contrast. Well, let's check out this last one. I'm going to copy this one and do this way. Does this pass? It's getting better. Okay, it's getting better. So we had two of them pass, but we still have fails on the other one. Let's see if we can't take this a little bit lighter by dragging the lightness slider. Oh, we got one more to pass. So this is better. Let's drag it again. See if we can't get them all to pass. Now we did. Whew. So, so you see why this is so valuable? You can change the lightness or darkness. You could, and, and it really helps you out when you're looking for a test for contrast. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Please make sure that you bookmark this and use it whenever you're creating websites.